So in this video, we will discuss how ChatGPT will be helpful in designing or writing assignments for students. See, uh, we know that ChatGPT is an AI tool which helps in many aspects. And today in this video, we will see how this ChatGPT will be helpful in scripting your assignments, a neat, uh, good outlook assignment. So let us suppose, and you, you know that this is a ChatGPT, we can uh, log in with our uh, phone number. And once you logged in, you'll get this page, a new chat. And this particular area is what is called a message area. And whatever you feed in this particular area, it is called prompt, okay? So how well you uh, give prompt will give you the better result. The better the prompt, the better the result, that is all. So first let us assume that uh, you want to write an assignment on uh, Java encapsulation. So let me put the same, write an assignment, assignment on Java encapsulation and it, it, it will omit the spelling mistake no issues and you can see that so that will give you a overview or the content which you want to prepare for the particular uh, topic see the first area which is focused on your title Java encapsulation so it ensures the data uh, privacy and abstraction and it gives you an introduction and apart from introduction what are all the contents you can add in your assignment to create a better assignment or the best assignment we can have table of contents in the table of contents you can have overview encapsulation principles and like this you have got around seven uh, topics and includes subtopics also so we can prepare content for all these topics to provide a beautiful and neat assignment and below that you see overview what is encapsulation importance of encapsulation all these details are provided by this chat gpt ai model okay so really isn't it uh, such a beautiful AI tool which is helpful for us and if you want more information regarding this Say for example, I'll take the first or second topic. Uh, first one. Okay. So expand this one. Implementing encapsulation in Java. So let me take this one. I'll put expand and write more script on implementing encapsulation in Java. You see, that will give you a example coding also for your assignment you can add these things now in the particular topic 3.1 uh, which means the uh, implementation of encapsulation in java we have got this particular coding area which, which was not available in the previous section so you can expand it uh, like this for each and every topic and the other uh, difficulty what we face is we we uh, do not have the information or the detailed information of these codings so what you can do is simply give explain line by line that will give you line by line explanation of the particular coding what you want to submit as an assignment so it's such a, such a beautiful tool that you can use it but my my point is Whatever the information this gives you, especially in terms of coding or mathematics, all these things, you have to check the output once again before submitting because sometimes this AI tool will give you wrong answer also. That is also possible in this uh, matter, right? So this is for the uh, student's point of view where you can get a beautiful assignment or the best assignment uh, like this by just giving the prompt to the AI tool. Okay, but Try to understand the concept and then submit the uh, writing box in terms of uh, printed statement like this okay and for teachers this will be uh, helpful also say for example as a teacher you want to give uh, five different topics on encapsulation to one group of students or five students and other topics to other five students so as a teacher you can uh, give prompt like for example provide five 
different topics uh, sorry assignment topics let me put on java encapsulation you can give as a teacher you can give uh, these five topics to one group especially in java encapsulation okay so this is how encapsulated employee management system you can give to one a group of students or banking application with encapsulation library catalog encapsulation like this you can give and for this you can get answers also so uh, provide code example for the above topics see you get this one and you can have uh, explanation line by line or you can have a coding like this so for all the five topics this AI model will give you uh, coding also right you can um, refer this coding to students where they can add uh, different uh, content into this particular coding and not only this you want to see output then you can add or give the prompt like just like you give output of the above about quotes that will add a detailed numbers in the coding where you can see it sets the account number account holder name and the balance and you will get output also like this so if you want to use a uh, user input say for example if it is Java you are going to use scanner right so a uh, use scanner for input this prompt will add scanner over here you see here it is generating and where you can add your account holder name balance all these things and then you can display it with the help of system.out.println and you will get this one sample input and sample output right so such a beautiful tool which will be helpful in designing your assignment as well as uh, providing topics to the students from teachers point of view as well as students point of view this can be used in different ways so this is one of the ways we can use to uh, provide a neat best assignments thank you